Ken Trahan with Lenny Van Gilder. It's our first NBC Bank weekend review brought to you by First NBC Bank with 32 locations throughout the greater New Orleans area and beyond. That's First NBC Bank, proud sponsor of SportsNola.com. The Saints put the pads on for the first time over the weekend on Sunday, so all the workout warriors now have to show what they can do in pads heading toward the first preseason game at St. Louis against the Rams on August the 8th. And Lenny, so far so good. No major injuries to speak of, which is obviously the biggest concern. And certainly this is a team that appears poised to make a serious run at an NFC championship. You would think so. And I'm one of the interesting things, and it's just not a surprise that came out of uh, came out of the weekend, is that seems to be more of an emphasis on the defensive side on creating turnovers, much like the Greg Williams days of 2009, 10, 11. Uh, you know, an, an outstanding play that we've now seen seemingly countless times, where uh, uh, you know Champ Bailey and, and Raphael Bush were involved, look like a look like a basketball play trying to save the ball from going out of bounds, and you know still creating the turnover. And look, this was a team that did not, in in spite of their successes on defense last year, a top five defense in yardage and points and such, did not force turnovers. And you know, you look back at two thousand nine. In that in that Super Bowl season, while the Saints' offense, no doubt, is is what it is and one of the best in the league, you can give them the short field to work from sometimes. If you can even put some points on the board yourself from the defense, that's even a bigger dynamic for you. And and it, you know, it, it changes everything. And if the defense is able to step up their game in the takeaway department this year, you know that then. Those types of things you're talking about, uh, still playing in late January and early February, could very well happen. You read Ed Daniels coverage for SportsNola.com from White Sulphur Springs, whatever you call it, in West Virginia. The, the Greenbrier, Green yes. simple enough. And, of course, uh, you can read my story about uh, the depth at wide receiver and cornerback that seems to be emerging from this camp to this particular point in time. Of course, two-a-days for the most part, off on Wednesdays, first preseason game on August 8th, first home game on August 15th, and then they'll break camp after three weeks in West Virginia and come home for the final couple of weeks to prepare and get going with the regular season. As for the New Orleans Zephyrs, they continue their longest homestand of the season. A couple of good wins over Omaha in succession. They're in a division that's Got four teams separated by two and a half games, basically. This is anybody's division the rest of the way. It's wide open with just, uh, what are we, five weeks away from Labor Day and closing day of the season. Anybody can win it. Whoever's going to finish strong is the one that's going to do it. The good news for the Zephyrs is the propensity of their schedule the rest of the way is at home. So even with this, in the midst of this 13-game homestand, even after that, I believe it's 13 at home and 13 on the road, so it's 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 pretty balanced once you get done with this homestand. So, um, you know, it's not just all road games after that. A forgetful season done for the New Orleans Voodoo. They tie for the worst record in franchise history at three and 15, and an overtime loss, their second consecutive overtime loss, and a game that they should have won two or three times over in regulation and in overtime. Kind of summarized the whole year. They played much better down the stretch, but couldn't finish games and. Now you turn your attention to the offseason and what's to come, Lenny, with this franchise that was last in the league in attendance, last in terms of record, and you start to wonder and wonder about what's going to happen with this franchise moving forward. Exactly. And really, it, to a certain degree, it's an, it's an entire league where changes certainly in in the offing we've seen changes during the season in Orlando there's rumors of things in uh, Iowa uh, you know certainly here what, what will happen in New Orleans there will be new franchises perhaps in some major markets so uh, this is a league that will look a lot different come opening day in 2015 than it does right now the big question on our end though is how will it affect New Orleans? Well, you like to be part of it, and hopefully that will be the case next year. It's still a viable product and an entertaining product. You'd just like to see some more success on the field, which translates into the stands. From the standpoint of baseball, well, you've got the Triple ABA tournament coming up in about a week's time, right? Yeah, it starts uh, a week from today. Uh, we'll only be 16 teams. We had the story a couple of weeks ago where one of the one of the big names of the tournament, Baltimore, 28-time champion, will not participate in this year's tournament. Uh, New Orleans is the only one that's really left of the quote-unquote big four franchises that have dominated uh, this tournament over the years. They're the only one left. They've won it 13 times, looking to win it for 14th time beginning 
next week. It'll be interesting to uh, to see how that plays out in the subject of amateur baseball. Congratulations to Danny Ream and his uh, 15-year-old JPRD team uh, that won the Grand Slam World Series uh, over the weekend in Panama City, Florida. Had to win a triple header to do it on Saturday. But you know what? Those kids are resilient. They, they don't mind that. Yeah, check out the team picture. Read the names of the players and the story at sportsnola.com. On a national basis, LeBron James will wear 23 in Cleveland. I like that personally. I think it's great to go back to the legacy that he's going back to. Why not embrace the legacy of the number he wore? And then finally, the big story on a national basis. And we have NOLA Motorsports on the West Bank, which is an outstanding facility and one of our fine sponsors. Jeff Gordon winning for the fifth time at the Brickyard 400. What a great story in his 40s. Some people had written him off. He not only wins the Brickyard for the fifth time, which no one else has done, but he's the leader in points late in the season at his age. Special guy, 90 career wins. I know the folks at NOLA Motorsports have to be happy about this because it's good for the sport. It's good for the sport. Jeff Gordon was out there last fall. Yes. In fact, I was we had to bring that up. Yeah, we had, a, we had a chance to visit with him. And, uh, you know, by the way, he's about six inches shorter than me and you. He's a little bitty guy, but uh, he gets behind the wheel. He's a giant. And, uh, you know, he was very engaging with the fans. Uh, it was it was terrific to be able to spend a couple of hours with him and watch him uh, spend some time uh, with with some of uh, with some of these uh, people who are in from all over the country to be able to go out and ride carts and you know he wished he'd have brought his suit with him so he could have gotten in a cart himself or gotten in a car and uh, you know a lot of a lot of great things going on out at Nola Motorsports. We had the story last week about the. Uh, uh, about the extreme experience going on out there and some of the things that uh, some of the other things coming down the line. Of course, we mentioned Indy. It will be not NASCARs, but the Indy circuit will be coming to NOLA Motorsports in 2015. Date still TBA. Speed. That's all I have to say about that. Speed. All right, Lenny, as always, a pleasure. And that is our first NBC Bank weekend review brought to you by First NBC Bank with 32 locations throughout the greater New Orleans area. And beyond, that's First NBC Bank, proud sponsor of SportsNola.com. Thanks, my friend. Have a great week. Hey, you, you two on the road. It'll be uh, June Young and myself uh, previewing the weekend coming up later this week. And I look forward to that at SportsNola.com. For Lenny, I'm Kenny. Have yourselves a great week, and God bless you.